Namaste. Hi guys. So a little bit different style video today. We're going to do how to wrap a sari for dance as I've used in some of my dance videos. So we're going to start with a nice big flared langa as a sari for dancing. So I'm starting with the raw end of the sari, but I'm going to start with where the border starts. I'm going to line that up with my left foot and line it up at the length that you want your langa to hit at your left foot. And then this raw end, I'm just going to tuck it up kind of out of the way so it's a little bit shorter so it doesn't hang out at the bottom. So I'm just, and I'm also cleaning it a little bit so it'll have flare so it's comfortable for dancing. You don't want it tied around my leg. So I'm just cleaning and tucking this out of the way. And then I'm going to make a couple of first pleats over here on the left leg. I'm trying to make the pleats to show the little peacock decorations on the sari. And then I'm going to bring the pudlu end around. This is easier with the less decoration on sorry the better. This just has a little border at the end, so I'm tucking it in so it doesn't show. And then I'm going to line it up at the same length at the bottom. And then I'm going to put a pin just so it doesn't flap open when I spin around and dance. So I'm just going to pin this together at the bottom. And then that way, just in case this border is a, or this sorry is a little bit transparent, so just in case this border shows through a little bit, I'm putting it on the left leg so that way it can be covered by the jacuzza. Because this is where usually where the jacuzza ends. So then I'm just gonna strategically pleat this so I have my little peacock showing. Going across the front. And then I want to kind of evenly spread the pleats around the back as best we can. And this is why you don't want to use a sari that has like heavy beaning up here at the top because then it'll rub and um, might irritate a little bit, so it's better to just use a little bit simpler sorry with less decoration on it. And I'm going to try to spread the pleats across the back. Try to line it up at the same length across the bottom. And there we have a nice flared lanyard for dancing. And I'm going to put the dupatta. If you don't like exactly how this looks around the waist, you can kind of put the dupatta to just cover it up a little bit. You can cinch a belt around this. And then this can drape across the front. Pleat it a couple of times. So then that can kind of cover up what's going on at the waist. And you can pin it here or you can just cinch a belt across it. And then you've got your garba style. <laughs>